I think today's video is particularly interesting for you if you use Instagram a lot and you also want to post your videos or photos directly from your computer instead of first sending them to your phone and then publishing them. Now there are tons of applications out there that can do that. Later.com, Buffer.com, as well as many, many more. And I don't necessarily think that all of those lose their complete use because oftentimes they have special use cases which are not already solved by the manufacturers or the makers of Instagram and Facebook themselves. However, the applications or the platforms are getting closer and closer to a place where they're basically replacing the functionality that those scheduling applications were giving us before. Now, if you're totally embedded into the world of Instagram and Facebook posting and all of that, you might already know what I just found out. However, I think it's absolutely worth it to share because it makes my workflow so much more easeful when I edit my shots on my computer and then I can also just directly schedule them or post them from here without needing a third party application or even a subscription to do so. Now, what I'm talking about is actually this here, the business side of Facebook and the ability to create posts, manage posts, even manage the inbox and all of that. And that in a way for me is a death threat to things like Buffer, Later and so on and so forth. Mainly because this type of application or this type of platform gives me the tools that I was using those others for. Now here, Facebook is providing a feature set which is almost more rich in terms of what it can do, but it is directly from Facebook. It's free to use for anyone who has an account and you don't need any third parties. There are also no problems that come up oftentimes with those scheduling applications because they are working with an API and sometimes there are things breaking and then they have to fix stuff and maybe your posts don't go out. We had that many times with people that I work with and that is truly annoying. Now I am guessing that this is much more deeply integrated between the different platforms and by doing so, it is of course more robust. Now, one thing that I wanna give you a heads up on is that this here of course only works for Facebook and for Instagram posts because this is made by Facebook and Instagram. And that of course means that if you want to schedule your posts to Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at the exact same time and do that really easily, then of course later.com or buffer.com for example are two really good solutions and I will still link them down below because they can be worth it if you want to do those kinds of things. Something else I wanna mention here is that as far as I know, you cannot post reels through this mechanism. However, you can post reels directly on the Instagram page. And of course, that posting mechanism is also constantly updated and changes all the time. So that's really cool to know that Facebook and Instagram are working on better ways for us creators to bring their content or our content onto this platform and have easier ways to actually manage it, post it, oftentimes even now have the features of expiring posts and stuff like that. And I think that's mostly on the Facebook side. But anyways, bringing new features is a really good way of making it easier for us to use. And of course, as I've mentioned before, managing and creating my content directly in Lightroom or Premiere Pro, and then being able to directly post from my computer instead of first airdropping into my iPhone and stuff like that, this is a game changer. Now, how does this essentially look? It's on the website business.facebook.com, the Creator Studio. And when you go to the Creator Studio, you might either end up in the Facebook section or in the Instagram section. There are different mechanisms here and there are of course more things than I will cover in this video specifically. But once you have set up your account, you linked everything up and that might be a process that you have to go through when you start using this page and you might even have to link your Facebook account to your Instagram account to be able to use these features. But once you're in here and you go to the Instagram icon right here at the top where you can switch between Facebook and Instagram, then you have a bunch of features here on the left hand side. And as you can see, you have insights, you have the calendar, you have monetization abilities if you are in the US and you have all those other criteria met. And of course you can manage which accounts you want to manage in here. Now right now I only have my personal account in here, but I could also add my podcast accounts and other accounts that I help manage to make our life in the management of those and scheduling of those posts that much easier. You also have the ability to look into your insights, but again, not the topic of today's video. 
What I think is really cool is that you have a calendar overview. This is something that I really love when applications like later.com have those implemented because this way you can see when did you publish what and of course you can see if you published a photo, a video or a story or stuff like that. So you can manage all of that right here in this interface but you can also go to the content library and here you can actually filter between which types of content you wanna see. So do you wanna focus on the stories, the IGTVs, the videos or photos? And then you can scroll through and you can basically see what is their status. In this case, for example, stories of course get archived after some time or after 24 hours. So those are no longer live on the platform. But as you go down here, you can see this is the photo that's still live on my account and more. So this is what you can do in terms of management or in terms of looking at your content. Now you can also open these. So for example, open this up. You can see how much the statistics are showing here and you can view the video as well. And now let's go into the posting of something. And here you can see you can post a IGTV or to the Instagram feed. And I am crossing my fingers that in the future, we will also get the story feature here as well as the reels so that you can actually post all the different kinds of content on Instagram right here from your computer and you don't have to go through your phone. So let's go to the story feed or the Instagram feed. Now you can change or choose which account you want to post this to. And I wanna of course post to my main account and basically here you can make all the changes and edits that you would also be able to do on your phone. You can write your caption. So let's say, hello there. You can even insert emojis if you don't know how to insert them usually with your keyboard. So that's a thing as well. You can see how many characters you actually are allowed to type and also how many mentions and hashtags, which is actually an improvement over the mobile phone integration. You can add a location. So in my case, let's put Germany. And here you can see you can choose photos or videos you'd like to post. And then you, down here, you can actually also choose to post this to your Facebook feed at the same time as you're also posting it to Instagram. Now on the advanced settings page, you have also more settings that are available in the phone app as well. For example, turning off comments, tagging business partners and such things. Now, when you're ready with all the content, you can of course upload your content Adding that, you're asked whether you want to post something from your Facebook page or you want to file upload directly from your computer. And now let's see a couple of photos from my last shoot with Nicole. And I'm actually going to choose multiple photos and see what happens that way. And as you can see, basically you are now seeing that we can actually also post a carousel. And that I think is something that this here has over those scheduling applications. Most of those don't actually allow you to post carousels at the moment, probably because Facebook is limiting that feature set in their official application API. However, here in this editor, in the Creator Studio on Facebook, you're actually able to post carousels of videos and also of posts. So if you create those creatively in Photoshop, for example, again, a very easy way to get them now onto Instagram directly. Now, somehow you're supposed to also be able to change the position here, but I'm not sure what that would do because if I change the numbers, it doesn't do anything. But as I go over here, you can see we have all three shots right here and they are in the moment actually showing up in different resolutions or in different aspect ratios. Now that's usually not something that Instagram supports. I would assume that that will be cropped somehow or it will add these black bars to this photo specifically. If I don't want that, I can actually edit this picture here inside of the editor and make it either a landscape or a vertical shot and then it's a four by five and let's save that and let's make those others a four by five as well. So we can actually move this over a little bit. Now we have that in a four by five manner. And with this one, we can do the same thing. Let's do a four by five this way and include it like that. And now we have all of those shots nicely cropped. And of course we can also tag a person. And in this case we have Nyama Studio and of course also Nicole and we have that tagged. And then we can also tag her here. And with the tags finished, I can now go through again 
see what's going on. Oh, we have a new notification there, which tells us that there's actually more that we can do here on the advanced settings page. And here you can basically add the alt text, which helps people with impaired vision to be able to also hear or understand what they are supposed to be seeing in this picture or what this picture is supposed to be showing. Now, when you are ready to post, then of course you have the publish button. However, there's also the little arrow here and there you can see we can actually also do this as a safe draft or schedule it. Now I wanna schedule this. Let's say I wanna schedule this for tomorrow at a certain time and I wanna post this at 4.00 p.m. And now with the date set, I can actually just hit the schedule button and now you can see the notification down in the left corner and there you have your post is being scheduled or at least was visual for a second right there. And now we can actually go in and see where this post is going to be by reloading the page. And we have this post right here. It is ready to go. It shows the date it is supposed to be scheduled at. And of course it also shows the current state as being scheduled. Now you can also do multiple actions with this, of course. You can either delete it, you can publish it now, you can view the post, or you can edit it. Now I might still wanna do some edits here in terms of changing the description and writing something else there. But other than that, but other than that, I think this post is pretty much ready to go. But I think I'm gonna wrap it here. This is the feature set that I wanted to demonstrate for you so that you can use this as well to make your life a little bit easier when you are scheduling your posts on Instagram or you wanna edit your photos on Lightroom on your computer and then post them on Instagram from right there without having to send them to your phone first. Now, if you have any questions about this, you can of course leave those in the comment section or join my Discord server and do that. And of course, if you have anything to add to this, then of course, please also let me know there. And if this video was helpful or interesting in any kind of way, I would appreciate a thumbs up. And with all that said, I hope you have an amazing day. Schedule your shots on Instagram from your computer, and I will see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao.